So let's start with the straight chain structure of glucose, and this is something you need to memorize. We have the aldehyde group on the end, it's called an aldo sugar, and the OH groups, we have one, two, three, four, five, and they need to be on the correct sides as you see them in this diagram. Moving on to the cyclic structures of glucose, we have the uh, two cyclic structures, it's alpha on the left, beta on the right, and the, the difference is the ring structure with the OH group on C1 is carbon one, carbon number one is on the different side of the ring. Uh, and the two types are alpha and beta glucose, you need to know the difference between these two isomers. The two polymetric forms of starch are amylose and amylopectin. Compare the structures, well, amylose, it has uh, alpha-1,4 glycosidic links, and it's a straight chain polymer, whereas amylopectin has alpha-1,4, I spelled amylopectin wrong there, so be careful with that, it has alpha-1,4 and also alpha-1,6 glycosidic links, and it's more of a branched chain, okay, it has branches. Um, moving on to part B, ex uh, the structural difference, again, this is the OH group on carbon one is on the opposite side of the ring. So we have two different structures, alpha and beta glucose. Okay, the next one is about um, amylose and amylopectin. Again, it's the same answer. So amylose is a straight chain polymer. It has alpha one for glycosidic links. And then amylopectin is a branch chain polymer. Spelt it wrong there. Uh, amylopectin is a branch chain or branched polymer. And it has alpha 1,4 and alpha 1,6 glycosidic links. So in this question, you're given the structure of lactose, which I've pasted into the, the document there. And you have to draw the ring structure of galactose. Um, so I'm going to draw the structure of galactose, and in a minute I'll explain how I can get that quite quite simply. Uh, is it alpha or beta galactose? Well, the OH groups you can see on carbon one are on the opposite sides of the ring structure, so it's going to be the beta isomer. And you can deduce this from the structure of galactose, which you're given by just uh, I'm going to. That on the right there is alpha glucose. And just by adding an OH there, you can deduce the structure of the uh, galactose. Next is the name of the uh, oxygen containing link that links to sugars. It's called the glycosidic link. Uh, and again, we have, we have to deduce the um, structures of the two monosaccharides. So on the left there, we have alpha glucose. On the right, we have fructose, and you can um, deduce the structures of the two monosaccharides that make up the disaccharide. And don't forget, it's a condensation reaction with a loss of a water molecule. So now I'm doing the structure of um, alpha glucose. The OH groups are on the same side of the ring structure. So it's the alpha isomer. The beta, they'd be on the opposite sides of the ring structure. And then next I'll draw the uh, fructose structure. And you can deduce this quite simply from the structure of sucrose, which are given in the data booklet. So basically by adding an OH to each of these structures, because what's lost is a molecule of water. So by adding an OH to the two, you can easily deduce the structure. Next is the other product. It's a condensation reaction, so a molecule of water is uh, formed. And the empirical formula of a monosaccharide is CH2O. So next we're comparing starch and... Oh, no, we're skipping that one. Uh, next we're comparing the structural features of starch and cellulose. Both are polymers of glucose. Okay, that's a similarity. Uh, starch has... Uh, alpha 1 for glycosidic links. So starch is a polymer of alpha glucose. 
and cellulose has beta-1,4 glycosidic links, which means cellulose is composed of um, beta-glucose. That's the difference. Okay, next is about um, explain why humans cannot digest cellulose, because humans lack the enzyme cellulase. So moving on, dietary fiber is plant material that cannot be digested in the human body. It passes straight through, basically. And the reason is, is because humans lack the enzyme cellulase, uh, which, so that means we cannot digest uh, plant, uh, dietary fiber or plant material. Two examples are cellulose and the other one is pectin. And why should you have uh, dietary fiber? You can prevent constipation or hemorrhoids, or you could have obesity, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, and you have to have two reasons there.